All right, amusement insiders, picture this. It's been a few years since Marineland has even been open to the public. You've been following along the drone updates and seeing as much as Brendan can catch with his drone, but you're curious to see what all these changes are going to look like in person. The purchase happened years ago now, and you've been patiently waiting. And finally, you're pulling your car up to the gates. You're ready to scan your pass, pay for parking, whatever it may be. You round the corner, and there you finally see the words, Bush Gardens, Niagara Falls. Let's talk about it. All right, if you've seen the previous episodes of my segment, you already know I'm your host, Jasmine, and we're here to wildly dream and speculate about things we would like to see at parks. Welcome. (laughs) So, sorry, I have an itchy finger. You know, there's we never make it through one of these episodes without allergies interfering at some point. Okay, Marine Land, let's talk about it. What made me even think about this again? Because it hasn't been in the news in a minute. We haven't heard any updates from any inside sources in a minute. But it's been on my mind. I want to know what the heck is going on with Marineland, don't you? I've been seeing nonstop articles since like May about SeaWorld opening their first orca-free park in the UAE this year. They're... They're exaggerating this for a reason. I am not saying this is happening. I'm just saying this is the industry taking a turn in the way that we've been wanting it to, especially for marine land. And SeaWorld is now finally leading that charge and bragging about it. Now, your personal feelings on how this is probably way too late is one thing, but I'm just talking about the clues that it is giving us as far as what's happening within SeaWorld as an organization and within the industry. The other thing I've noted since seeing those articles is SeaWorld is the only brand that's really doing major expansions right now. Has anyone else noticed this? Other parks have been doing some selling, some, you know, investing in their existing parks, but other than Universal, I'm not seeing like giant parks opening from other brands at the moment. Cedar Fair hasn't been opening any new parks or making any big acquisitions. Um, You know, we're just, uh, we're seeing that from very few chains right now and very few based on what the stocks look like are in a position to be doing such a thing. But SeaWorld comparatively is actually doing all right. Just thought that was interesting. So this is going to be a short one because this is really my main point is if we're looking at what's possible as far as um, brands that could be or purchase potential purchasers that could be looking at buying the marine land property and those that one have the ability to two are in a good position to right now three have a reason to and for SeaWorld they are on a brand strategy mission right now. Let me put it that way. They're not, re- they're not really doing as much major brand repair work as they were when the Blackfish documentary first came out, but there's still a strong distaste for animals in captivity for wrong reasons. Like there's one thing to have animals in captivity for rescue and rehabilitation reasons, but for entertainment, there's a very strong distaste in the general public for that in general right now. So we know SeaWorld is trying to make themselves look really shiny and great as a brand um, who was for a long time known for keeping animals purposefully in captivity for nothing but entertainment. Yes, they have their um, charity work that they do. They have their organizations that help to rescue animals and, and that kind of stuff. But let's be honest, especially in the older days of SeaWorld, it was pretty much about entertainment. Um, So this brand is trying to create a new image for itself. It's in the process of expanding right now, creating new parks. And 
Imagine how good it would look for that brand to be the one that looks at marine land and says, wow, they're really not treating these animals well. And we have the ability to fix that. That would actually look really good on their image if they could come up and say, hey, we're, we're buying this property and we're going to make sure that these animals are in actual top tier care not like what they say allegedly but is allegedly not allegedly what's allegedly happening if you if you know what i'm talking about what's currently going on at marine land <laughs> anyways <laughs> if a big brand like SeaWorld came in and said look we want to prove to canada that we truly are putting animals first we're not going to keep these animals in our in this park anymore we're going to responsibly find ways to get them to proper care facilities and rescue facilities and you know facilities where they have more space to roam free and be free and be treated properly and we are going to open our second ever orca free park here in canada and i just personally think that the bush gardens branding is better for niagara falls area it's a very like parks sort of mindset there like when i think of niagara i think of nature i think of niagara parks and recreation i think of um you know like the butterfly conservatory like it's very naturey and bush gardens parks give me that very naturey feel more so than sea world parks so i just think that's a better fit brand wise but it's still the sea world organization that i'm talking about and i do think they have reason i think it would look really good on them to be the ones that come and show marine land how it should be done. They have the money to. Currently, as far as the um, investors are concerned, I think it would be good timing. And I think they could get a good deal on the park because it's been sitting, they've been trying to sell it for a minute now. Nothing is happening. <laughs> and yeah. So those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Who would you like to see purchase it? Who do you think has the ability, the reason, and the resources at present? Um, Share your thoughts below and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.